Hi, I'm Adam from Power Plumbing. I've been installing Gebret concealed systems for over 13 years. I've installed them in walls, ceilings, vanity and offset situations and it's easy. Let me show you how. In the cistern carton, you'll find the Sigma 8 cistern with duo fix frame, dust cap and pipe, water supply connection, installation duct, key seals, fastening kit, pan fixing rods, drainage connection set. You'll need these tools. Hammer, impact drill, socket set, utility knife, a saw, tape measure and level. Gebret Sigma 8 for wall hung pans. This installation consists of two stages. First, the roughing stage, followed by the fit out. We recommend you refer to the installation instructions provided with the cistern and pan before starting. You will also need to know the pan specifications to complete the rough in. First, check with the builder to determine the finished floor level. Measure one meter up the stud and align the Gebret meter mark on the frame. Adjust the height of the legs and tighten. Mark the fixing holes on the sides and feet of the frame. When marking holes, the frame must be flush with the studs. Then, remove the frame, pre-drill and fix the frame in place, making sure it's level. Check the pan height meets the manufacturer's requirements. Remove the front cover and transmission block. Remember, the front cover will need to go back on, so keep it in a safe place. Remove the cap in the top of the cistern. Fit the stop tap supplied from the outside of the cistern. Tighten the backing nut, taking care not to drop it inside the cistern. Tighten the inlet hose, finger tight only. Reassemble the transmission block, front cover and fit the installation duct. The protective dust cover is designed to stay on until the fit out stage and will prevent any unwanted debris from entering the cistern. Make sure the parts needed for the fit out stage are stored safely. Two waste pipe brackets are supplied with the cistern. Check the pan specifications and change if required. Position the top half of the waste retaining clip. It can be installed in two ways, forward or back depending on the required waste position. Install the bottom half of the waste outlet bracket. Screw the pan fixing bolts into the correct holes for the pan. Refer to the installation instructions for more information. Now, install the dust cap. You're now ready to connect the water supply. Once done, check the installation is ready for the wall linings and tiling. When the wall linings and tiling are completed, you're ready to install the pan and the actuator buttons. To fit the buttons, remove the outer dust cover. Trim the installation duct flush with the tiles using a utility knife. Remove the inner cover and transmission block. The flexible hose can be detached from the inlet valve to flush the water supply and remove any debris. Once the line is clear, refit the hose. Turn on the water supply and check the water level. Fit the transmission block, then fit the inner cover. Fit the mounting frame to the front of the installation duct and adjust the fastening bolts to suit the depth of the wall cavity. If necessary, shorten the fastening bolts. Secure the fastening bolts by turning them 90 degrees. Then lock the bolts in place using the blue pins. Ensure the spring mechanism section of the mounting frame faces downwards. Fit the push rods through the holes on the plate until the raised ridge reaches the front of the installation frame. Then turn 90 degrees to lock them in place. A click can be heard when they're located correctly. Ensure that the rods operate freely. It may be necessary to shorten the rods, depending on the depth of the wall linings. Position the push plate on the wall and engage the lower side of the mounting frame. Push up against the spring and clip the button over the top of the mounting frame to locate the buttons. Now, just check the system flushes correctly. 
See, it's that simple. If you have any questions, call Gebret Support on 1800 Gebret.